Hello everybody, it's Miss Michelle from the West Caldwell Public Library with, of course, my assistant, Furby. We're here for story time again. How are you guys? Did you have a good week? Good, I'm glad. So I just had a very successful story time with a bunch of kids on Zoom, but as always, we're recording again afterwards so everyone else who missed it can still join in on all the fun. We read a story together, we sing a few songs, and I always attach some crafts for you to do at the end as well. So, Furby and I are here today to warm you up and sing some songs. There he goes again. You know, I've decided to just let him do it. Everybody seems to love it, so we'll just let him walk around and have fun. Furby, can we warm up the kids? Can we do that? Before we sing, we always like to warm up. Can you sing after me? Can you echo? Ready? La, la, la. Try it. La, la, la. Good. How about la, la, la. Try it. La, la, la. Can you do this? This is called a lip trill. I don't think Furby can do it. Can you try it? Such a silly noise. Can you sing up like we just did, but use your lip trill? Try it. And then let's go down. Listen. Try it. Good job. Let's roll our shoulders a little bit. Good. Let's stretch out our hands. Furby, you don't want to warm up? I guess not. Can we kind of shake it all out? Okay, good. So we are ready to sing our listening song first since we're all ready to sing and we want to remind everyone it's important to be a good listener for our story today. So let's point at our eyes. How strange for a listening song. Here he goes again. All right, ready? We're going to point at our eyes first. Excuse me, Furby. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, lips are zipped, hands are still. Feet are really quiet, you should really try it. Listen well, listen well. Good job, guys. Let's clap for everybody. Oh, thank you for sitting. Wow, he actually sat. This is a big deal. I don't think this has ever happened during story time. Maybe he really likes today's story. See, Furby already heard it because we read it together on Zoom. And the kids really liked it, especially the pictures. The pictures are very colorful because today we're going to read about fall. And I think you know that there are a lot of pretty colors that we see during fall. Fall. And you know what? If you look outside the window now, you're going to see those colors because it is fall. So our book today, oh, he's back up. Our book today is In the Middle of Fall by Kevin Hanks, illustrated by Laura Dronzik. I did this one last year too because I love the pictures. There are not a lot of words in this book, but I'm still going to go slow and talk about the pictures. Look at how cool this picture is. All the different colors of the leaves. Okay, here we go, Furby. You be good now. In the middle of fall, when the leaves have already turned, you tell me what color is the tree? Orange, good job, I heard some oranges. And the sky is mostly, not blue, gray, and the air is chilly. Now, how do we know it's chilly out? Well, we see the young lady. Oh, we did see the young lady. Excuse me, Furby. Come on, come over here. This is very, this is not very nice. Okay. We see the young lady here in a big coat because it's cold out. So the sky is gray, the air is chilly, and we know the leaves have turned colors. And the squirrels are frisky. Yes, they are. If you have squirrels in your yard like I do, they are extra frisky this year. Oh my goodness, Furby, you're blocking everyone's view. This is not nice today, Furby. Okay, excuse me. And the gardens are brown. Check that out. Shouldn't those, those be green? Those leaves and those stems, they should be green. How interesting that now they're brown. They've dried up and they're ready. Oh, I'm pushing Furby. And they're ready to prepare for the winter. Okay, we're going to move his treats. I think that's what it is. Okay. And the pumpkins are ready. What are the pumpkins ready for? They're ready for picking. I bet we had that just a few weeks ago. Maybe you went with your family and you picked some pumpkins at a local garden center or at a farm. 
all these beautiful pumpkins that we used as decorations for things like Halloween, right? Okay, and the apples, Furby, and the apples are like ornaments on a tree. It kind of looks like a Christmas tree with all different ornaments on it. Well, not really different. They're all round and red because they're all apples. It takes just one big gust of wind. And all at once, something happens. Now, the kids in Zoom love this one. We saw lots of gray sky in this picture and a few leaves, but in a second, whoa, the picture changes. And all of a sudden, the leaves are flying everywhere because the tree is losing its leaves. They are drying up after changing colors and the wind picks them up and flies them all around town. It says on this page, everything is yellow, red, and orange. Can you find some of the yellow ones? How about some of the orange ones? And maybe even the red ones. Oh, he's dying to come over. He can't help himself. Excuse me, this is very rude. Well, all over and all around, we see lots of leaves. Furby, this is too much today. You're distracting everybody. My goodness. We want to see these beautiful pictures. You see the young lady is no longer on the swing. She's too busy catching leaves flying all through the breeze. Oh, here he goes. Oh, now here comes the title of the book, right in the middle of fall. Now here's that squirrel we saw earlier and his friend. And here's that girl in her big jacket and her dog. And here are those leaves we saw earlier and that gray sky. And now we see a tree with very little leaves. <gasps> the leaves are flying away. And I think maybe she was helping rake because there's a pile to jump and play in. But the girl tells us to remember it. Remember what? Remember the squirrels? Remember the brown flowers with that pretty yellow bird. Remember the apples. Remember the pumpkins. Remember the leaves. Why should we remember them? Oh, the yellow, the red, and the orange. They will be gone. Look at this tree. I don't see any more leaves, do you? Boy, something must be happening. All the leaves are gone and the tree is ready for another season. The sky will change again. Look, it's even grayer, maybe a little bit lighter. It's not like today, there's a blue sky outside my window. Look out yours too, I see blue sky. But this is a very gray sky. And then soon, very soon, the sky will be white and empty. White and empty. There's nothing there. Look at that squirrel. He's wondering why. Oh, it'll be ready to fill up with snow. Can you believe it? Let's look at this last page here. All this snow. Who remembers that winter comes after fall? Did you know that? Winter will be here soon. I know that we don't feel like it will be. It was just summer, right? But winter is coming, my friends. It's getting colder out. So I thought today we would sing a special song about the fall, but it's more about the leaves because the leaves are the main event of this book. I think the leaves are beautiful. So we're going to sing a song that you might recognize. It's to the tune of The Wheels on the Bus. Everybody knows that song. Now, in the first verse, we don't have any moves. We just sing. Can you figure out the words if I start it? Are you ready? The leaves on the trees turn orange and red, orange and red, orange and red. The leaves on the trees turn orange and red all through the town. Now, that's fun, but we like to add some moves. Let's pretend that we are the leaves tumbling down. Can you use your hands? Great. The leaves in the trees are tumbling down, tumbling down, 
tumbling down. The leaves in the trees are tumbling down all through the town. Well, what else happens? I remember from the book that I saw wind. Ready? The leaves in the wind, do you think they just tumble straight down? No, the leaves in the trees go swish, 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 swish. The leaves in the trees go swish, swish, swish all through the town. Now, here's my favorite verse, because once the leaves all fall down, we saw a pile of leaves in the book, right? Well, we're going to sing about that. We'll rake them in a pile and jump right in. Let's practice our jump. We're gonna jump like this. Are you ready? We'll rake them in a pile and we'll jump right in. Jump right in, jump right in. We'll rake them in a pile and we'll jump right in all day long. You see how I changed the words, Furby? This is not nice. That's I had to change the words. There we go. That's not a nice move he's doing today. I had to change the words because it's not all through the town. It's all day long. Well, I hope you enjoy. Oh, no. Here comes another friend. Can you believe it? This is like a comedy hour now. Say hello to Sebastian. Sebastian, this is not very nice. I guess I'll take my camera and I'll move it here because nobody is listening today. Everybody say hi to Sebastian and Furby. Guys, you're not being very polite today. My goodness. Well, I want to thank you for joining me for story time today. As always, in the comments of the Facebook post of this video, oh, complicated, I am going to put a craft, but it's not really a craft. It's more of a worksheet activity. And in fact, I'm going to put three. So kids of different ages have different activities, or if you want to do all three, you're welcome to do all three. I hope you have fun with them. I thought they were very pretty. And you can rewind and practice and sing this song all day long if you want. That's the beauty of a recording. Fun, right? So I want to thank you for joining me and remind you that if you want to join us on Zoom with the whole group of kids, you are welcome to do that. All you have to do is email me and I'll add my email into the description of this video on YouTube and on Facebook. Okay, complicated, like I said. And you can email me anytime to be given the Zoom code to join us, okay? So Furby and I say thank you for joining us today, right, Ferb? Are we excited? We're all done, done with work. He can go play now. Thank you, my friends. I'll see you next time. I hope to see you on Zoom Wednesday at 4 or Saturday at 10.30 or right here on YouTube and Facebook. Have a nice day. Bye.